Hello CBC Music audience, you're looking at Robin Hitchcock, which is me. Here's my face. Hope you're well. Here we go. Every songwriter has a different flavour that they're really good at emotionally. There's a certain feeling of really good Van Morrison or great Brian Ferry or, you know, I mean, some, some songwriters will just cover everything, like Dylan and the Beatles in a way, but mo most people have their, their frequency that they get. And so I picked these five songs, um, and you know, Joe was happy with them as well, that I felt just each of them had a feeling that I wished, that I liked, I wished I'd written it, but you know, I can sing it. So. There's something about it that is, well, I don't know, it just gives you, it's, it's a sort of spiritual, romantic feeling. There's a little bit of a, a little bit of a shiver as if you really are considering the ghost in somebody, but it, also it's just such an incredible thing to say, the ghost in you, she don't fade. Turn you on. Turn You On is one of the great romantic songs. Uh, Brian Ferry is one of the great romantics. You know, there's, um, I'm a huge fan of Brian Ferry because I think I'm so unlike him in a way. You know, I've had New York romances, but even before I had them, I still had that, that line, you know, is it raining in New York down Fifth Avenue and off Broadway after dark? I love the lights, don't you? You know, there's that, he's, he's sort of considerate. In, in a, maybe he's just being polite, but you know, that's, I love the lights, don't you? You know, it's that sort of, it's very unmacho. The day you're not on. If one night you're walking what, way above the ground, do yourself a favor, don't look down. Um, it's, it's sort of about finding yourself, I think, anyway. Um, I mean, I'm just interpreting other people's songs, but it's easier to interpret other people's songs than to interpret your own often. But uh, to me, it feels like about being um, completely out of your depth, just, uh, just being somewhere you have no idea where it is. You're not in control of the environment around you. Um, if you look down, you might fall. If you, you're, you're out of town, it's dark. You don't know where you are. You could get lost. You could be stolen by the night, you know. There's a sort of vulnerability to it. We know that you are fine. Boats are just a huge part of Norwegian life. And um, this seems to be, the picture I get from this is, is of long, sometimes endless Scandinavian twilight with these boats, you know, ploughing back and forth in the gloom with their little shimmering lights. And then it sounds, it seems like one of them just disappears. It's been forever since you lost that boat. And I, it, it, it almost sounds to me like they are, that it is actually being sung by kind of disembodied spirits who are, who are um, guardians of these ships. And one of the ships has disappeared and it's a kind of lament for, for it. I don't know, I've actually never asked her about the words. Days are bright and filled with pain. I just imagine this <laughs> whacking great sort of spectral galleon, but, but, but sort of shimmering because it's made of crystal, which is just full of pleasure. You know, um, all the all the joys that Los Angeles could bring in its heyday, none of which brought happiness, but all of which brought pleasure and um, activated people's synapses in such a provocative way. And uh, which Jim Morrison himself kind of eventually was enthralled to, but uh, you know, a thousand girls, a thousand thrills. Hi, I'm Tom Allen, the host of Shift on CBC Radio 2. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, see some more. Subscribe, you can get them all. Leave us some comments. Tell your friends. There's all kinds of great videos here on the CBC Music Channel.